Howdy everybody, Essential Gear here. So what you're looking at is the ARC kit from Refuge Medical. It's one of their newer kits. I've had it for a few days now, so I've kind of formed my initial impression of the thing. Just wanted to get a quick video out on my thoughts. So from the website, it was developed by a fellow named Twitch, who is their lead instructor over there at Refuge Training. It's meant to treat one to two casualties with the Marchi algorithm and can be utilized in the buddy aid role. It has a soft tourniquet on the outside there. And maybe a, a bit of a play on words there with symbolism, with arc, so I like that. So what makes this kit different from their other kits? As you can see, the contents are exposed a bit, which isn't a problem. But let's take a look at the bare fact, and you get a bit of a size comparison here as well, if you're looking here. So this is a bit small. Let me grab a water bottle. Maybe uh, that gives some of you guys who don't have these kits an idea of how big it is. So their typical kind of formula with their kits are is they have an outer enclosure that protects their inner contents. So if you haven't seen what these things look like, this is just an outer shell that encloses your capabilities inside. So that's their, their bare fact, their bare men, and their SOB type kits. So let's talk about this rip away concept here. Why would you want that? It kind of solves a different issue on the market here. Maybe you need the capability to get to your components inside while the thing's still attached to the molly backing. And that's really key if you're any kind of medic or swap medic running with a plate carrier. You're going to have this thing mounted and you can access everything inside without having to set this thing down. You're probably going to be on the move. So that's something to think about there. But also you have the option to rip this thing off. So really two ways to utilize this thing here. And one more thing worth mentioning is you can get to the shears while the thing's closed. So all you got to do is rip those things out. And you can access your patients, cut away a clothing, and decide who to treat. So let's talk about the pouch itself real quick. Now remember we have this outer enclosure that allows you access to your actual kit. And that also exposes the soft T tourniquet, which is held in by these tactical utility retention device straps. Or TURD. I love their acronyms. So what I did, how I have this oriented, it's kind of staged to how I like it. And I have these little straps on the opposite side to where this thing is gonna be moving out. Now you don't wanna do this, or at least I don't, because it's gonna catch, it's gonna prevent you from pulling it out. So I set these things up kind of inboard, I guess you could call it, and then you can just rip this thing right out. And this, you're gonna lose this thing in the field, but it stays in place for now. So when you get this thing, it's gonna be in plastic. Make sure you stage it. Now, how I do this, some people do it differently. I give myself enough slack here so that I can turn the windlass and just kind of secure it right there. And make sure your triangle is down. I kind of move it just a bit forward so it prevents this from kind of covering it. You don't wanna have that happen. So I move this forward. I bend this back and I kind of make it so the excess is the same length as the loop and then I just give it two little turns and it does come with some rubber bands but I, I don't I'm not going to use that here and if you do want to reattach this the way I found is easiest just kind of loop it over so you're gonna it, it comes like this should reverse a little bit so orient it like this grab the loop put it in and then pull the excess right over. That's how I secure it there. All right, moving on. You do have your, your red pull handle here. Let's talk about this. So the outer, or the, the molly backing, it has this extra piece of Velcro here, which I assume is to adjust retention. So with this on, or with this off, you're gonna get a higher level of retention if you need that capability. I don't think I want that, so I'm just going to keep it there. And these straps that enclose the kit itself do not move, which is cool, because you don't want those things swimming around on you. And the one that goes over the top does have a dual kind of thing going on there. And I like that because if it was just a single strap, it might twist and bend and won't be as strong. 
Then moving to the back, these are the straps that come with it so you can mount it to your headrest. And all these buckles are plastic, by the way. And then we have these malice clips that come with it, which is nice because these things aren't exactly free. And you do have Molly. And now I'll probably do this as I'll run these Mali or this malice clips through the Molly. And then I'll run the straps through so I can attach it to my headrests. I feel like if you don't do that, these things are going to cave in, you know, in on you. Maybe not. I'll experiment with that. Maybe I'll roll in some video and be doing that later. But that is the Molly backing. Moving on to the kit. Opening this thing up. Now... One thing I like about this is these uh, fold-up kits, sometimes if you don't have these retention devices, the contents tend to kind of creep up out of there. But since these are on there, that's it's not going to happen. So the first thing you're seeing here, all their kits come with the Sharpie. And I've added a 14-gauge uh, needle. It does not come with that, but you do have the option of adding that on the web page. And then the components, see what we got. And... Just like all their other kits, the highest quality components here, high fin chest seal. This is a compression band, is H and H type. This is an S mark, kind of like a SWAT T. You can use this to go over a wound that you packed, wrap it up, or as a additional tourniquet. You can't put those on one handed, by the way. Quick clot, and then your gloves, and you got your made in the USA sticker, of course. Moving on to your second pocket here. We've got two compressed gauzes, more chest seals. Whoops, I just detached these. And then you got your 28 French, and that is it. All right, guys, that was just a quick initial impression of this kit. I might roll in a video of me attaching this in my vehicle on my headrest, but definitely check out the website. I think uh, the guy who runs the place, Bear, is also putting out some videos on the uh, Marchi algorithm, how to address that. If you don't have any training, I would highly recommend you watching that. So uh, that's all for now. Essential Gear out.